Hello. I hope that today that you are reflecting on your life. In so many occasions, people have missed what God is trying to show them. And many of us are allowing this world to dictate our lives, to turn us away from scripture, to impact our children, causing us to stumble. creating the utmost chaos in the lives of our loved ones. Society has a firm grip, but this grip is orchestrated by no other than the devil. See, when we go out and live in this world, the devil's plan is to take your life. He is very cunning. He knows what we like to do. He understands our temptations. He knows how to get underneath our skin. We have a difficult time realizing these different circumstances. But we fall into traps and we lose the clear vision of what God has for us. The devil hires others to take lives. So he's smart. We think we're smart. But he is way smarter. Many lives are lost on a daily basis from the smallest amount of money or material possessions. He's impacting lives. He is the ultimate destroyer. God wants us to have a clear mind, a clear conscious that his way is the best way. In the book of First Peter, chapter 5, Verse 8. Peter writes about being sober minded, to be alert. The devil, our enemy, our adversary. Is Roaming around, roaring like a lion, seeking whoever, whatever, in his path. Our lives are too important. Our souls are even more important. 
And what we put into this life will determine our final destination. And we need to think about our children, our grandchildren, the generation that will come behind other generations. We are setting them up either for the Lord or the hard life taken. The devil hired himself. The devil chose his path. And he wants others to join him. He's not afraid of the Lord's plan. He's already made up his mind. Many, many years ago. We have a chance. The perfect opportunity to get our lives right. There is only one way to do it. That is the anchor in the Lord. This world has no place for souls. This world is not heaven. This world does not have the power like the Lord has. And the time is right now to humble yourself, to put the right plan in motion, to find the Lord and never let go. This is the choice. This is the plan of salvation. The Lord wants you to be on a journey with him. You must come right now and follow the righteous ways of Christ.